Well, ladies and gentlemen, Greg Nikolaski from ForexLive.com. This is a Kickstarter video where I take a look at three major currency pairs, the euro versus U.S. dollar, dollar versus yen, and sterling versus U.S. dollar to start the new trading day for May 1st, 2024. Yes, it is a new month, and we also have FOMC rate decisions today where the Fed is expected to keep rates unchanged. The question is, will they hint of a more symmetrical policy uh, uh, stance going forward uh, that is either tightening or uh, easing? Uh, they already have shifted more toward uh, lowering rates later in the year. Uh, that was how through comments I've made before the quiet period started a few weeks ago. So uh, that is what's on the table here today from the FOMC. We also have U.S. jobs report coming out on Friday. We have the ADP report coming out, out stronger and uh, uh, slightly stronger, stronger already today. We are seeing yields, however, move lower after the sharp rise yesterday after the employment cost index. So that is the fundamental backdrop to what today's trading. Now let's take a look at the technicals that are driving the major currency pairs. We're going to uh, start by taking a look at the euro versus US dollar on the hourly chart. We have a down and up uh, price action trading here today. We are uh, currently trading near highs for the day. And in the process, uh, we are breaking outside of this, uh, this uh, uh, swing area where we had a number of different uh, swing uh, highs and lows going back in, t back in time. Admittedly, uh, earlier today, the price did move below the lower end of the swing area, 1.06529. That was uh, short-lived. However, and the price started to rotate back to the upside. More recently, we're seeing the price move back to, back higher, despite the stronger-than-expected ADP report, uh, maybe some short squeeze uh, in that uh, current currency pair. We are also moving back toward the underside of this broken trend line and also the 200-hour moving average. Both those levels come in at 1.0689. Above that, we'll have the 100-hour moving average of 1.07037. And this area area between the two moving averages is going to be the key barometer uh, for traders going into and out of the FOMC rate decision move above that level. And things will be more bullish with this uh, swing area, which was a swing low. Uh, and then we gave a swing high through here. Uh, and uh, more recently, was uh, more resistance uh, this week with uh, sellers uh, near the high of 1.07327 get above that level and we start to look toward the 50 percent retracement of what was the april trading range that 50 percent comes in at 1.07425 we did hold resistance ahead of that area through here here we did break above it on one little bar uh there during the month of april only to uh, quickly rebound back to the uh, move back to the downside not rebound but fall back to the downside so getting above that level would also be more bullish uh, for this pair and have traders looking toward these other levels on the top side. Conversely, stay below this this level. That is, keep the dollar strong, and uh, a break below the 106.529 should lead to um, more downside selling with uh, other lows from the month of April acting as support, including uh, this level at uh, 1.0622. That level was a swing low right here. And also here and here and here. So floor developed there. Maybe then then uh, we did then trade above and below through this area right here before uh, reestablishing the level as a support right here. Uh, and below that, we have the low from April at 1.06. Even nice round number for that uh, on the downside for the year versus US dollar. So again, this area right through here is going to be our barometer for the euro versus US dollar. Trade, trade below is more bearish. Trade above it is more bull bullish through the FOMC rate decision. Let's take a look at the dollar versus the yen. Well, you don't know that story. That story has been uh, with a sharp move to the upside in trading here this week to the price back above the 160 level. And then uh, things uh, started to unravel rather quickly, came down to the 200 hour moving average, found support buyers against that level and broke through it on a, on a couple other bars through here. One, two, three, four separate bars where the price fell below the 200 hour moving average. Each of the time it couldn't close below that level. Uh, and in trading uh, yesterday, we, we stayed above the 100 hour moving average. That's a blue line in the chart. And that level is going to be a level of uh, uh, interest by tra traders going through the FOMC rate decision. If the price can break below the 100 hour moving average and uh, maybe in the th then the 38.2 percent retracement and the 200 hour moving average and stay below those levels, uh, the bias remain more to, uh, more to the downside or shift more shift to the downside, at least in the short term for the dollar versus the end, obviously. The, uh, the trend in this uh, currency pair is still to the upside. I wouldn't necessarily say that uh, sellers are taking back huge control in this uh, currency pair. Um, so uh, be aware, be prepared of just that fundamentals. Uh, one level that may, may be of interest, at least off this hourly chart, 
is at the 157.23 level. The reason why I say that is that the, the high price uh, here and the low price right here uh, came in at that level. And then we broke below that level. Where do we correct up to that level on two separate bars right through here? When we broke above the level in trading yesterday, where, where do we find support against that level right here? So there is a history at the 157.23 for whatever reason. Uh, it, it just sort of builds itself. So if we break below that level, break below the 100 hour moving average, things would look a little bit more bearish for this uh, currency pair, at least off the hourly chart. One thing I wanted to, uh, to uh, show off, off the five minute chart is that there is a little bit of a kink in the uh, uh, bullish armor, uh, at least in the very short term for this uh, currency pair. If you take a look at the five minute uh, chart and look at the moving averages through here yesterday, the uh, price uh, on this uh, uh, move to the downside came down to 200 bar moving average on the five minute chart, found support buyers. And then we started to use the 100 bar moving average as support instead, breaking to the upside through here. In trading here today, what do we do? We found support against the 100, 100, 100. And now, uh, more recently, we've uh, been finding some sellers against the 100 hour, uh, 100, 100 bar moving average, I should say. Uh, and uh, we are now trading below the 200 bar moving average as well. So there, 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 there is that little shift. If traders want to pick a top, uh, you know, go ahead. But uh, understand that if the price were to start to move back above the, these two moving averages, I would not mess around with it. Um, no matter what, uh, uh, you know, it, no matter if you th think the price is uh, well over water um, and uh, needs to correct, it doesn't matter. Uh, uh, Trending markets are fast directional, tend to go further than you expect, and you just have to protect yourself against that trending market. So be aware, be prepared. But there is a little bit of a kink in the armor in the dollar versus yen in this very short term. Take a look at the sterling versus U.S. dollar to conclude our report. Uh, we saw the uh, pair uh, come down to the 100-hour moving average and trading uh, 100 bar moving average on the four-hour chart, I should say. Uh, that's this uh, blue line right here in trading yesterday and then felt fall below it in the Asian, Asian into the European trading session today. We've traded above and below that moving average, uh, as you can see, and currently just above the level at 1.24898. The level comes in at 1.24872 uh, in trading here today. We're going to need to get above the 100 hour moving average. And then we have other targets on the top side, including the 200 day moving average, 61.8% retracement of the April trading range, and the 200 bar moving average on the four hour chart as uh, levels to get to and through to increase the bullish bias. That 200 bar moving average of the four hour chart also corresponds with the high price from earlier this week. So uh, be aware of that level on the top side. Now, if the price cannot get above those, you know, start to, to take out those moving averages and, and retracement levels, uh, and uh, perhaps even stays below the 50% retracement, that might be a short term level of resistance uh, in trading right now 125.035 then uh, getting below the 200 hour moving average it's this green line right through here and the broken 38.2 down to 1.2455 would open the door for further selling with this uh, swing area through here as a level up to a uh, level to get to and through as well on the downside if the sellers are to take more control you can see the number of different times the market came into that area area either finding uh, support or resistance uh, over the near term. So if we get below that level, it opens the door for further selling with the uh, swing lows from the month of April as the next key targets on the downside. So there you have it, a detailed look at uh, the three major currency pairs. My name is Greg Michalowski. Good fortune with your trading. Bye-bye now.